In Going Under, there are five mentors for you to complete tasks for. Completing each task unlocks special abilities or perks that equipping that mentor will give you. Each mentor has eight different tasks for you to complete. Some of them are pretty straightforward and some can be pretty tricky. I'll go over how to complete each task for Fern in this video so you can unlock all his abilities and the trophy along with it. All right, let's get into it. To get each task, all you have to do is speak to the mentor when they have a little blue check mark above their head. This will do a little conversation and get you the task that you need to complete. Fern's first task is to deal 50 damage with explosions. This task can be completed a few different ways as you can cause explosions from different skills and abilities. I found the easiest way to complete this one was to get the bomb dropper skill. This skill lets you drop a bomb every time that you roll. This makes it really easy, you just run into a room with enemies, roll in front of them instead of attacking them with your weapons. Each time the bomb blows up and hurts them, you're going to get more damage. Once you get to 50, this task is done. Once you get Fern to the first level, explosive cans of fizzle will appear in the dungeon that you can use to cause different status effects and abilities. Fern's second task is to apply status effects to 10 enemies. This can be done using the fizzle cans that appear in the dungeon as long as you have them equipped as a mentor, or you can do it using things like fire or electricity from other weapons. I found this task easiest to complete by using the fizzle cans that you get having Fern as your mentor. Simply pick up the fizzle can when you defeat enemies, then use it when you're surrounded by a bunch of them and it'll cause status effects. Once you get to 10, you're all set. Fern's next task is to toast a job witch. This one can be a little trickier because it involves a little bit of luck. The way I was able to complete this one was to make sure that you're in the Joblin dungeon, then go through the levels, and hopefully when you kill some enemies, they'll drop a job witch. As long as that room has a fire in it, you can then push the job witch into the fire and that'll toast it, getting you this task completed. Once you level Fern up to the second level, he'll pack a lunch for you that you take into the dungeon with you. This takes up one of your weapon slots, but you can throw it against the wall to drop food out of it a few times to heal yourself. Fern's next task is to kill three Joblin Canbassadors with bean bombs. This one can be a little tricky again, just because you have to find the right enemies to fight, the Canbassadors. You'll easily recognize them because they're goblins throwing bean bombs at you. The easiest way to complete this task is to find a room that has some of the canbassadors in it, take out any melee enemies that are in there with them, and then roll around and wait for them to throw the bean bombs at you. Once they do, pick it up and then quickly throw it back at them to damage them. You may have to hit them once or twice, but once you do, it'll take them out and you'll get progress towards the task. You can, if you time it, perfectly catch the bean bomb in the air as it's going to hit you. I find it's actually easiest. Let it hit the ground. Then you can just quickly run over it, pick it up and throw it back at them. The next task Fern gives you is to find the golden eggplant in Winky Dink. This task is actually really easy. All you have to do is load up the Winky Dink dungeon and keep going down the floors. You'll notice that some of the rooms have eggplants hanging from the ceiling. Just keep your eyes out for one that's glowing. It looks almost like a light bulb. This is the one that you want to get. The thing that can be tough about it is since some of them are hanging so high, you have to find something that you can throw to knock them down. Once 
Once Fern levels up again, it'll let you store more Fizzle than you could before, and you can buy Fizzle from vending machines in the dungeons. The next task from Fern is to defeat a monster with a frozen monster. This task actually sounds a lot harder than it really is. I was able to easily complete this one in the Winky Dink dungeon. All you have to do is find a fire extinguisher, which is scattered all throughout the dungeon, pick one of these up, and then spray it on an enemy which will freeze them. Pick up the enemy, and then just use that enemy to attack another one, and as long as you kill it while it's still frozen, you get the task completed. Fern's next task is to have 9 heart containers at one time in a dungeon. At this point in the game, you're probably starting a dungeon with 6 already, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get 3 more. All you need to do is go through a dungeon and look for any opportunity to get a Fizzle Classic. This can usually be purchased at the shops, and it'll give you an extra heart as well as the heart container. There is also a skill that gives you an extra heart container, so you can either equip that before going into the dungeon, or if you find it while you're going down, that will help you finish this task as well. Fern's final task is to find the Fizzle Rock and Styx Coin. This one is pretty easy. All you have to do is go into the Styx Road dungeon, keep going down and fighting your way through floors until you find a rock on the ground that has some pink fizzing stones in it. Break the rock and pick up the fizzy rock that comes out of it, and you've completed the task. That's it! Fern is now maxed out. His forbidden flavors of Fizzle will now appear in the dungeon, which have some really cool effects. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for even more going under tips and tricks. That's it for now. As always, happy gaming.